Hello everybody, this is Israel Epstein coming to you with our 15 week update on the aquaponics system. So let's take a look over here and we'll kind of give you a look see and see what's happening. Alright, first things first, the weather, it is a changing. It's getting a little cold, so we have decided to take the shade off there and give this place some sunshine. So far so good, everything is liking the sunshine. Uh, the fish probably like the sunshine, I'm guessing, but uh, their water is getting a little cold. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But let's, uh, let's start at grow bed number six. You can see that this grow bed has begun to do really well. We've got uh, our lettuce, which is our uh, romaine, is coming in real nice. We have our um, green onions are starting to come in pretty good and sticking up there. We got some sweet yellow onion that is doing pretty good over here in the center there. We got some uh, Dutch cabbage that is actually doing pretty good here in this back corner. We got, uh, I took some of the um, broccoli out of grow bed number one and put it into here because it was getting a little bit uh, thick growing in there so I wanted to give it a little bit more space and kind of thin it out so that's doing pretty good uh, I did put the tomato in here is doing really well it's growing very nicely I expect that uh, pretty soon it'll start to form some flowers and we'll see some tomato growth. Uh, a good wind came through here the other day so I actually staked it off and one of the branches broke off on that thing so I just stuck it in the soil there, or in the uh, pea gravel there. It's actually hanging in there and starting a new plant so that's pretty sweet too. I also took some of my uh, spinach out of the grow bed in the dirt and dropped it into here and it's hanging in there and doing pretty well. Then of course we got our bib lettuce, which is hanging out in the uh, back of this thing, doing really nicely. Now in grow bed number one, we don't have a whole lot going on here except for some um, broccoli. We got some broccoli growing in here. Like I said, it was getting a little thick, so I transplanted some of it to grow bed number six. And then we have this other... Um, I believe that's another cucumber plant that my son put into this grow bed number one and it's taken off and doing pretty good. You can see in grow bed number two we have uh, lots of bell peppers forming on this thing here. Let me see if I can get you a shot of that. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, so we got lots of uh, peppers forming on this thing which is looking pretty good. And in there I also have a, uh, a piece of lettuce is growing down there uh, but the big news in grow bed number two and I'll kind of come back around this way is this uh, zucchini plant we've got lots and lots of growth coming out on this zucchini plant down here it's doing all kinds of growing down in there so we expect to pretty soon see uh, some zucchini coming out and you can see that the the uh, the netting that we put on the back here is doing really well, causing all kinds of uh, summer squash to be coming out of here. The grow bed number three, we have just some lettuce growing in there, and it's kind of it's doing okay. I cut it all the way down and trimmed it back, and it's coming back. Uh, grow beds number four and five are completely filled with cucumbers and summer squash. Uh, as you can see, like right here, we have some of that summer squash that is just starting to really bust loose in here. And the, uh, we've had lots of insects, lots of bees coming around to uh, pollinate all of these flowers. We got some more, uh, we got some more cucumbers growing in the back here. We actually did pick our first two cucumbers, as you kind of saw in the opening sequence there. I ate one of them yesterday, it was very nice and gave some to everybody and they really enjoyed it and we're going to use the other one in a uh, nice salad tonight. But you can see that those, um, those summer squash are really starting to come loose in here, just tons and tons and tons of them. Um, now one thing that I do have a concern about is the temperature in this water. It has been kind of getting a little cool at night 
And so the water temperature here for these tilapia is actually at about 65 degrees. It's a little too cold for them. I have noticed that they are not quite as vigorous. Uh, they're not wanting to eat quite as much, not moving around quite as much. So I am considering uh, ways to warm up this water. Uh, just looking at different ideas, maybe putting a, 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 a little heating element in there or possibly uh, some type of a sun deal, thermal energy with a tubing or something like that to run water through a tube that's coiled up on top where the sun will heat it up and then run it back in. I'd like to be able to keep this tank, uh, you know, in the 70s, but uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. So we may have to winter these fish and just kind of let them go dormant and hang in there. I, I'm pretty confident that this water will not get to a point of danger for these fish but they're not going to be quite as vigorous in eating and growing and possibly breeding at this temperature. So we're going to be looking at ways to uh, warm this water up. And that is how the fish are doing. They're definitely uh, got pretty big and we got some good sized specimens in there. And let's take a look at, uh, I did put a shade cover over this, I think I mentioned before, and we've got lots of new growth coming out underneath here. All of these plants that I trimmed off are uh, coming back and coming back vigorously. In fact, a whole bunch of new ones are growing. I don't even know where those came from. They never went to seed or anything, but lots of new ones are coming up, so that's looking real nice. Our uh, spinach is doing really well. Uh, the little cabbage plant that I put in there, transplanted out of the uh, grow bed number one, I just stuck one of those in there to see how it would do, and it's actually doing really nice. And then our corn is actually doing pretty good. We haven't noticed that it's, you know, it, it really went crazy when the temperature was still pretty warm. Now that the temperature has cooled off, it's kind of slowed its roll a little bit. We're not quite sure if it's going to kind of stagnate or uh, you know what's going to happen with that so we will see as we watch out for that who do we got here oh it's stupid what's her butt car wash is <laughs> stupid car wash is broken <laughs> okay you, give it a few hours they have a plumbing issue we got captain smith rolling really? smokes thank you captain smith mm -hmm. watch out there is a we got uh, <laughs> our yeah, grapevine oh, is actually yeah, doing really well it's continuing to grow along where we have trained it to grow coming along its wires here it's doing really nice our carrots are actually hanging in there and doing really well and uh, our goji berries actually were pretty much dormant for some time but now that we've begun to you know do some fertilizing on them and giving them a, a good steady dose of water these goji berries are doing really well so that's pretty much it for the 15 week update folks Next week, we'll probably show you, uh, you know, what we've come up with to warm up the tank to maybe try to keep those fish active and happy uh, during these winter months that are, it's going to only get colder, so we want to figure out a way to keep that tank nice and warm. Any comments you might have or suggestions, we'd be delighted to hear them. So this is Israel Epstein saying thanks for stopping by and just look at that tremendous growth. Aquaponics is a smashing success. We are eating the fruit, vegetables from our aquaponics system and it has been 15 weeks, that's two weeks of cycling and really no growth and then uh, 13 weeks of growth. So within 13 weeks, which is essentially, you know, three months, just over three months, that is a tremendous amount of growth in just three months and we are delighted as can be. So stay tuned and we'll have more veggies coming up pretty soon. Rock and roll folks. Oh it's also the Sabbath so we hope you have a fabulous Sabbath. Have a happy Sabbath and we'll talk to you soon.